there have been so many things that have happened to me that I could have looked at and said, oh my gosh, I can't continue, I can't go on. That was way too big, it was, it wrecked me. Like shutting down the world one week after opening up a shop. I am Leah Lana, owner of Leah Lana's Bananas. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all at Leah Lana's Bananas. My entire life, I've been on a mission of spreading happiness. I didn't know what that was or what it looked like. I just knew that that was what I wanted to do. And one day I was walking through my kitchen and I looked down and there was a banana on the counter. And I realized in that moment that a banana is the only fruit that smiles back at you. Put some stuff together and um, decided I was gonna build a banana cart. So by the end of the day, I had a business plan, I guess, and I was, I had a business license. I had everything ready to go. My husband came home from work that day and he was like, hey honey, what'd you do today? And I was like, oh, by the way, I own a banana business. I'm having a banana cart built. And um, here we are <laughs> three years later, sitting in the banana shop that opened one week before the governor shut the world down. You have to understand that owning a business is going to be the most challenging thing you can ever do in your life. And knowing that no matter what, you're never going to give up. You're never going to give in to the challenges and the obstacles around you. My best advice is to never give up. Never look at anything as a failure, simply a challenge. And you can overcome any challenge, any obstacle, it's just a matter of not viewing it in a negative light. So many people start off on that path of wanting to do something big and I just don't ever want to lose that. I stay motivated every day and um, that's why like a negative review is the worst thing on the whole planet for me because somehow I failed somebody. My message of spreading happiness didn't come through in that interaction and to me that's just it goes against everything that I'm working for, but I take every one of those moments as a learning lesson. And every single day I wake up motivated to go out and spread happiness. Where did we start? We started with just what do people love? What goes in ice cream? What what are you seeing on chocolate covered strawberries? It felt really natural for me. I'm pretty creative and I'm an amazing problem solver. So I can take any situation, any banana, figure out what's gonna make it better, what would be a fun flavor. And uh, finally one day there's becomes doubt, like why do people like these? Are they even as good as everybody says they are? And then I tasted one. I'm quickly reassured that they are really fantastic. But we have, I believe six different dipping options. We have dairy-free chocolate, and then we do the milk white dark, which is all Ghirardelli, and then we do a chocolate of the month. And then we've got about 28 different toppings, and you can mix the toppings, and then we've got 15 different drizzles that you can put on top, so you can make any combination. We just let you have fun and be your own creative self. It can go either way, like, you know, you can be as creative as you want or as simple as you want. So you just never know what you're gonna find on a banana at Lealana's Bananas. <laughs> I've thought about this really long and really hard. I get asked actually probably almost daily if I'm going to franchise. For so long that was, I was like absolutely not because I can't protect the brand. I can't force somebody to spread happiness. I can't make somebody who I am. It didn't sound like something that I could do. I have an amazing business coach and we talked about what does a franchise look like and how much control can I really have if that's something that I wanna pursue. And at the end of the day, it is. And so then I was met with reassurance that it is possible to franchise. That is a path that I can now explore. My goal right now is to open a shop in North Las Vegas. I'm hoping by the end of this year, possibly into next year, really start focusing on the franchise part of it. So I will dominate Las Vegas. I also have a cart at Wet n Wild and that's an ongoing contract. And then we will we'll look at the franchise side of it and get all of that set up. Hey guys, 
welcome back to my channel and I wanted to say thank you to Leah for letting me come and interview her. She's gonna give you guys all her socials so you can come and check out her frozen bananas. Hey guys, uh, we are on the corner of Warm Springs and Rainbow in the southwest of Las Vegas and you can find us online. You can place an order online at leahlanasbananas.com or find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Leah Lana's Bananas. And I will actually have all of her information down below in the description box. Be sure to like and subscribe on my channel here. And till next time, stay creative.